And welcome in, guys. Today, we're going to be talking to Sean Singh Hondol, lead striker, Vancouver FC in the Canadian Premier League. Let's get straight into Sean right now. Sean, how are you doing, matey? First question to you is, it's been a big season. What are your goals for this season? First, my goals, I want to win the Golden Boot. Um, I think I'm set up uh, right now to, to uh, possibly win it. I know Meyer Bevan has seven at Calgary, but it's close. So, I mean, that's my personal goal. As a professional footballer, everybody likes to hit the back of the net, but more so the strikers on the team. What does it feel like when you hit the back of the net as a professional footballer, Sean? I mean, it feels better when we're winning games and we're I score to get the lead and stuff, but nonetheless, it feels feels good to score. I've watched you for quite some time now, Sean, not just in the CPL, but also in the time with TFC2 and into Miami. What's your goal on the career? First and foremost, uh, with the team, I just want to do what I can to, to help us win. Uh, make the playoffs and hopefully win the title but um, other than that I just want to do what I can for the club and then see where that leads me whether it's Europe whether it's MLS or um, yeah and I just want to have just a successful career um, and a long career nice nice and thoughts about progressing to Europe per se um, obviously that's something I'd love to do in my career um, if if I can uh, but nonetheless I feel like uh, any anywhere anywhere in Europe or MLS is a, is a good fit. Um, I know even going through the MLS route and then going to Europe is also a way that could be done. So I'm looking at that as well. Now, talking about Inter Miami and the whole experience for you, what was that like? And how do you feel that that has propelled you to this point? Amazing. Um, the coaching staff, uh, Phil Neville, Darren Powell, uh, Martin Patterson was really hands-on with me. He played a uh, striker in the Prem uh, Championship. He was in USL Championship as well. Um, and he was really hands-on with me, uh, kind of just focusing on the strikers. And mm -hmm. every day we just do finishing. And, he, and just because of how much uh, effort he put into the drills and, and thinking of what we needed and what I needed personally, I think that helped me. Uh, obviously, training with like Gonzalo Higuain and those guys, seeing what they do in front of the net and their consistency um, helped me a lot. So Talking about Higuain, what kind of things did you learn in everyday training from the Meister? What, what I noticed when I got there was that he was just very calm. Um, off the field, on the field, obviously it was his last two years um, in his career in Miami. Um, mm -hmm. You can see just the calmness he brought to the team in front of the goal. Um, that's why I feel like I bring that to my game as well now, uh, learning from him. When you're in front of the net, I, I feel like I look calm, and I kind of learned that from him. When he's in the net, he just, like, no, nothing nothing phases him. He just finishes the ball. Um, and, yeah, and, like, him, him coming off the end of his career, he wasn't the most fittest player, but you can see as soon as he touched the ball, he was just uh, different. So, Sean, you got a great first touch, and I've noticed that for quite some time. And it seems like you're detached in the game too. Is that deliberate to find yourself time and space within the game? Obviously, being a striker, you're gonna you're gonna miss uh, miss some chances. Um, I feel like in the CPL, what I learned in Miami from my coaching coaching staff that that's been all over the world. Um, they told me that like even even though you're playing the CPL, it's not the, the highest level league. And you miss a chance. The six players in the MLS, player in the, players in the Premier League, they do the same thing. Yeah. So you got to always remember that, you know, like you miss a chance, but next on the same day in a different league, someone's missing the same chance, if not worse. So you just got to have a short memory and just be ready for the next one. So. so talking Vancouver FC, who in the locker room is the joker or who keeps everybody moving along and joker in a good way? A few. Um, I think I think I'm one of them. Uh I think Ibrahim Bakari, he he is one at times, uh, and then Callum Irving keeps everyone uh, like in check. Um, he, he brings the jokes. He he knows when to be serious, and uh, he's just a great leader for the team. So, so tell me in the CPL, what's it like for a striker trying to find space, trying to find time in the final third? It depends on the opposition. Um, I think the easiest thing is running in behind the defenders in this league. Um, I feel like a lot of the defenders are big, strong, and they're they're very good when you you stay close to them. But when you play off the shoulders, I feel like you can have more success. Now, a big man and a big part of Vancouver FC, Afshin Goodby, the coach. What's he been like, and how has he helped you this season? It's been huge. Um, I know, I know, like when you're when you're scoring goals all over the like, no matter where you are, whatever team you're in, uh, yeah. the striker gets comfortable. Like you, you can be scoring, and you, then in training, you can be just going through the motions and weekends come, come and you score a goal and you just keep doing it that way. Uh, he's He's been uh, pushing me. Even though I score on the weekend, he doesn't let me come in on the next day and just, you know, just be lazy or go through the motions. He makes me, he makes me be sharp every training session. He holds me uh, accountable. 
uh, for everything I do, every chance I get, any pass I make. Even if I score and it's not going in the way I want it to go in, he keeps me accountable. So I think that that, that helps me a lot. <laughs> so if it's not a clean touch, he's on you, right? Because he knows that, you know, and the CPL, it might go in, but he, he knows that uh, and he believes that I can play at a higher level and he knows that those those uh, bobbly finishes might not always go in. A couple of weeks ago, I met you up at Cavalry FC for the Cavalry FC Vancouver FC game. I walked up to you and I said, you're going to score today. And you did within four minutes. Do you remember that? Oh, it feels good. I mean, earlier you're scoring a game as a striker, you're you're kind of just, you kind of get a weight lifted off your shoulder because then you're, you're, you feel like you could just... Uh, you know, just get you're in the game already. You know, you don't yeah. have to worry about, oh my God, I gotta get my first goal. I gotta get my goal in the game. I gotta help my team. But when you get your first goal, you're already in the game. You're confident in everything else you do, even if it's not in front of the net, if even if it's holding the ball up, uh, combining with the team, you know. So yeah, I, I feel, it feels good getting the goal early. Helps the rest of the game. Who is your biggest influence or biggest support in becoming a pro soccer player? Um, I think that would I would have to give it to a lot of the Toronto FC uh coaching staff. Danny Dicchio, um, Jason Bent, uh, they they really just helped me. I mean, I signed my first contract when I was 16. Yeah. So Danny Dicchio, he was a striker. He I was playing in the academy under him since I was like 13, 14 years old. And then Jason Bent, um, he gave me my, my first start when I was like 15 or 16, I think. And there was a period where I didn't score a goal in the first like seven games, I think, in the USL Championship. And he just gave me – he just kept starting me until I got right. it. So. So I know yeah. my first year, I think I had like 24 starts or 23 starts as a 16-year-old. So I owe, owe a lot to, to Toronto FC and the, the club. So when you look back as a 16-year-old back in the day, that was a really tough run of games, yeah? For sure. Like, I mean, even playing playing when I was that young, it didn't really feel like, okay, like I'm a professional footballer. You know, like I just I just used to leave school, go to training and have a game on the weekend. So I never, yeah, really, exactly. I never, actually, I never actually sunk in until... Uh, and even now, I'm only 23, turning 24, and yeah. I'm like eight. I'm eight years in on my career, my professional career, and it doesn't feel like that. It still feels like I'm coming in on my second or third year or first year. You know, just just trying to learn things off of everyone, even if they're older or younger, it doesn't matter. How important is family for a young gun in trying to make it as a pro soccer player? Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, yeah, my parents helped me a lot. They they let me. I remember when I was uh, 15 or 16 when I got offered my first contract. I was either going to go to college or in, in the states or i was going to sign and my parents they said you know what you can go to college at any time just just sign right now and see where that takes you so what's the best advice you could give to a youngster coming through who wants to make it as a pro soccer player it's just being focused on what you want to do um when i was younger we didn't there was no cpl until i mean i mean i'm still young but when, when i was 19 yeah. 18 or 19 that's when cpl yeah. was made um i signed my first contract at 16 and when I was 13 or 14, I never fully understood how close I actually was to signing. Like, even when I got offered my first contract, I, it was a surprise. I, I never really thought about contracts. I'm, I thought about, okay, going to D1 colleges and, mm -hmm. and all that. So I feel like when, when players are around 16, 17, 18, they're already so close playing League One or wherever it is, and they don't under, really understand how close that really is to the next step. So I think actually believing in yourself is, is kind of the thing that helps you overcome and and make that next step so sean it's been a pleasure thank you for your time go and get that golden boot and have a great season thank you very much sir and thank you caitlin media vancouver fc thank you guys